Hey guys, this is GameTech Super Sham back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be going over the most annoying bugs in Windows 10 build 10130 that I have found while I've been using it for the past month. These are so annoying. Some of them are just stupid, but anyway, let's just get right into the video. So, brand new calendar app. I'm going to go into the settings, okay? I'm going to go into the settings, go into calendar settings. Everything's fine. I'm going to go into accounts. I'm going to pick an account, okay? Everything looks great, and this isn't really a bug, just as much as something completely annoying. This this thing right here, this button, the see more button, does absolutely nothing. It pushes the save and cancel buttons up. That's all it does. Just, why is that there? That is so, so pointless, and I have no clue what they are doing there. Anyway, we're going to move on to Cortana, something... Uh, pretty pretty important. So here's the first actual bug. If I go into Cortana, which I mean it works fine, it's pretty good. And then I go to Reminders because you know I want to remind myself. Boom, crash, dead. Cortana it just leaves. And I have to you know click on it again. It'll it'll reload. And then I can go into it again, and it'll load this time, right? And then I want to add one, and it I can't add one. It just doesn't let me add one. I don't know what it's doing. Is it actually loading is it doing something every single time i add one and nothing happens just i can't put in reminders and it's really weird I, I don't really know what's going on here okay so this next bug isn't it's not going to stop your workflow or anything you may not have noticed it but i definitely did and it really really bugs me and that's that there are literally three different right click context menus in windows 10 and Oh my god, they are all over the place. So the first one, the supposedly system-wide one, is when you right-click on the desktop. You get, you know, this white shadow. It looks pretty nice. Uh, right-click context menu. And that applies to the taskbar. That applies to any files in File Explorer. That's just how it works in Win32 desktop apps. It's nice. And then you go into the Start menu, or the Start screen, and you right-click on any tile or any app, and it's black even though I had a white one on the con on the desktop and the black one doesn't have a sh it doesn't have a shadow had a completely different theme a different font a different font size and it, I don't like it as much as much as the uh, desktop one but it's there so you know that's one and then there's more the jump lists are completely different the jump lists have the black theme again which I mean doesn't look bad but the font looks better and the size is better this is fine and the same thing applies to jump list in the taskbar. So when I right-click on an app in the taskbar, it's black. But when I right-click the actual taskbar, it's white. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, so the last bug that I want to talk about here. This one is the most mind-bogglingly, what are they doing here? And that is the start menu when you're resizing and moving around tiles. So... If I take Skype and move it, I can't see where Skype is anymore. I don't even know where it is. I don't really know how the other tiles are going to interact with it. And when I do move it around, everything goes crazy. When I move it down here, why is it that there's a gap created there and not everything shifted over? Okay, so then I put it back where it belongs, right? And I move Mail up, and every single thing comes up. Okay, I move Steam out of the way. It's just not a fluid experience when I move it. I want to put it right here, right there. I don't. It's really hard to see what exactly is going on here when you're doing this. It's just not a fluid experience. I can't really see where I'm going. It's just not like what is. What are they doing here? I. Why can't I not see what's going on? And then sometimes it'll completely glitch and won't even let me edit a tile after I touch it, and that hasn't happened yet, but that has happened to me before when I'm not recording. I'll move an app, and then I can't even click on the app, just because I moved it. So, some weird bugs. And I know I said that was the last one, but I just want to briefly touch on the icons, which have been criticized a lot, and I'm going to continue that. Not to the extent, though. So, File Explorer icons, I like them. I think they're good. Yay. And then you go into the settings. You got some wireframe stuff here. I mean, all right, remote desktop, that's not even a Windows 10 icon. Clearly, tons 
of desktop apps need to be fixed. They are not Windows 10 icons. I mean, this is not a Windows 10. This is not even the same icon from the File Explorer documents. But then, you know, I'll go into settings, and I see wireframe icons instead of these icons, which should be throughout the entire operating system, but they aren't for some reason. And then, and then I go to the calendar or mail apps, and I see a completely, totally different new set of icons. These are not even remotely correct, I guess. They don't map, they don't blend in with Windows 10. Um, you've got, you've got just weird stuff going on. More wireframe stuff, but this wireframe settings icon is not the same as this wireframe settings icon. This has more rings in it. This is just bland. And when there's a drop, when there's a little thing coming from the side, why is there no shadow? It doesn't look good. And then you go into some of the settings, and they just, what are they doing? What is this? Why is this icon not the same as the mail icon? The, what? <laughs> just makes no sense. And then I go into OneNote, okay? And then I go into OneNote, and, and bad things happen. Here, in the start menu, the OneNote icon... Is the OneNote icon with a purple square around it. Alright, cool. I click on it. In the taskbar, it's white. There's no purple square around it. And it's just different. Just completely arbitrary. What is going on here? Like, I understand that this is a... a Not even beta. This is a, you know, insider preview. But, how are they going to unify this in a month? It's going to be pretty tough. Um... They're really going to have to work on unifying the user experience, fixing these bugs. But these bugs are minor bugs. They can be fixed. But the icon stuff, like, half of the operating system is wireframe. Half of it is still Windows XP. And the other zero <laughs> is just not even, it's just like Windows 10 style. I, I have no idea what's going on with my math or, or with Windows 10's icons. I think some of them look really good. Some of them look horrendous, and some of them have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but sorry if this was a rant, guys. I hope you at least saw some of the bugs and some of the frustrations in Windows 10 build 1030. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned for more Windows 10, more other tech videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and uh, thank you for watching.